Hey everyone, my name is Jake Failing. I'm Vice President of Marketing for Movement Mortgage. This is Casey Crawford, CEO of Movement Mortgage. And then we have one of our special guests, Travis Marchand, a market leader in Naples, Florida. We are all here together on campus at Movement Mortgage's headquarters for a very, very exciting announcement. And so I'm gonna get out of the way. I'm gonna hand it to Casey to make the announcement. You, you need to get out of the way. And, and to be clear, everyone, I think I was supposed to open this whole thing. So Jake already has uh, stolen the mic, tried to steal the show. I do, sorry. But this announcement is what's really near and dear to my heart. Many of you know that my grandfather uh, went to West Point and served as a Colonel in the Air Force, did three tours in Vietnam. And he was always a hero of mine growing up. And I saw and heard a lot of great stories about how the USO took care of our troops when they were overseas far away from their family. We are so proud and excited to announce today that Movement Mortgage is now the official sponsor of the USO. This means so much to us because of our mission to love and value people. And there's no one that we want to love and value more than our military men and women. This organization, the USO, exists to love and care for our military families, both at home and abroad. They entertain them, they connect them back with their families, and we are gonna help them in that great work. We got our very own Travis Marshawn here with us to talk to us. First of all, Travis, thank you for your service. Thank you. Always appreciate our men, men and women who have served, and it's so special to have you as part of the movement community. We just wanted to hear from you, a uh, former service person, what it means yeah. to you to partner with the USO in this way with our movement military initiative. So it's awesome. Uh, it, it, Great to be here. It's awesome to partner with them. Uh, serving vets is something that's that's close to me as a veteran, and so for the company that I was already with that I that I loved, um, that had a great mission already, to to start serving vets and, and doing what we're doing and partnering with the USO is just pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Like anything else you want to talk about, just sort of your experience with the movement military program. I mean, this this is sort of like the next stage of the announcement what we have done here at movement mortgage and what's it allowed you to do as a new market leader right. in naples florida so it's huge i grew my business serving veterans in southwest florida and kind of breaking the myth of of the va loans and and uh, just trying to educate the community about serving veterans better by joining different organizations and partnering locally with our branch down there movement so this is just taking it to the next level man it's going to be awesome Speaking of that, were you ready for all the lights? Next level, we flew you up here from Florida. I mean, I, just, I wasn't ready for this. this is a big, was, well, you're a pro, you look good. All right, I appreciate you coming on. We got another guest that's gonna come right after you, Jessica Floyd, thank you very much. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks, all right, guys. and while Jessica walks up, this is my transition camera, right, Adam? Okay, good, so I'm right here. So part of the partnership that we've got, hi, Jessica, welcome. Part of this partnership, there's three main elements to it, and everybody's made fun of my sheet of notes here in front of me, but I wanna be sure that I, that I nail it. So this is gonna allow us to partner with the USO database, all the people in the network, and offer our, like I said, the Movement Military Program, offer those loan programs to them, so that's one. Two, we are going to be able to recruit and hire USO members as part of their transitions program, which is super, super special. And I know that you want to talk a little bit about that, Jessica. And then this is what I thought was really cool. Movement mortgage employees will be able to volunteer with the USO. And so that's the third part of this. So those are the three big pieces of this partnership that we're very excited about. And I know you are excited about as well, Jessica. So. You are uh, an ops training manager for us here at Movement Mortgage. Yeah. Um, if anyone has seen our uh, Movement Military uh, marketing, you are plastered all over. You're the star <laughs> of the show, basically. So awesome. can you tell us a little bit about your service? Uh, and then I know Casey's got some questions for you too. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I served on active duty in the US Navy as a cryptologist. I can't talk about it. I'm sworn till death. I would love for you to talk about uh, it. Please, no, <laughs> we can't right. talk right. about it. Um, I'm actually also the mother of a current active duty service member who is also in the Navy serving and training right now as a wow. cryptologist. Um, so got out, served during 9-11, and then kind of scattered around the earth trying to find my place after that. Mm, got it. Well, I, one thing to me is, as a dad, you know, that, that, that I've always thought about is just that, um, that sacrifice of a parent, you know, who, who I mean, it's, yes, it's our men and women who are overseas. It's also a lot of moms and dads that are home that love each and every one of them. I want to be connected to them. I know that's one of the main missions of the USO is connecting our 
servicemen and women with their families. Can you talk a little bit about that, and just as a mom, as you're processing this, you know, what it's like to, to think about having a son who uh, may be far away, maybe maybe yeah. out of reach, maybe <laughs> in some scary places at times. I'm still processing it all. It's very new. He just graduated recently from boot yeah. camp, but I just remember when I joined and my mother just, she called my recruiter and was like, hey, she can't do it. Um, she's not allowed to go. No. I said, so I'm her mother. And they were like, that's not the way it works. Right. Um, and then my first duty station was in South Korea and being across the country by myself, um, ended up getting married and was pregnant with my son at the time wow. while it was there. And just, if it wasn't for the support of the, you know, people like the USO and the Marine and welfare, welfare support system yeah. um, with the US Navy, just all of that there to support us and help us stay connected with our family. I don't know how we'd get through it. We can't do it alone. It takes a village. Yeah, so. yeah. I think people don't always appreciate the really unique challenges that military families experience. Yeah. I know my best friend from high school, uh, went to West Point and has been serving in the uh, Army for over 20 years now. And I've watched him go through deployment after deployment with uh, four kids. Yeah. And it's tough. It's tough. It's tough on the families back home. It's tough on our servicemen and women who are overseas and far from them. And it's, it's a really unique strain. And so I'm so thankful for organizations like the USO that fill that really um, deep void many times in connecting our, our folks. And we, we want to be about that. You know, as a movement, we're about loving and valuing people and the communities we're a part of. And we are the fourth largest VA lender in the United States. So we're one of the largest providers of VA loans in the United States, and we want to continue to expand that influence and continue to expand our ability to help the families of our military um, servicemen, you know, enjoy the dream of home ownership, you know, when they come home. And this is just, I think, one more way we can do that, creating some stability at home for them by supporting great organizations like the USO that love and support them so well. Absolutely. Awesome. And Jessica, I, I want to give you another plug here. Uh -oh. The blue version of this shirt. This go. is you, right? Yes. Oh, you said, come on. You said, this is the Floyd shirt. Oh, this is the Floyd. Let's <laughs> give you a peek behind the curtain here because this came out Change first. And then on you said, the website right excuse now. Me. Yes. The Floyd. I said, uh, you know, most of the colors in the military are actually blue. Ah, um, it's, it, you know, the army is predominantly green. <laughs> yes, there are the camouflage out there that most of the branches wear. But the Air Force, the Marines, the uh -huh. Navy, we all wear what color? Yeah, blue. blue. It was one of those friendly reminder. Friendly reminder, Jake. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank and thanks for coming on. All right, we got another guest. We have another guest coming on. Wow. So while we do the magic of switching cameras, here we go. Christy Gaines <laughs> is jumping on. What's up, Ms. Gaines? And we've transitioned and we're back. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Hello. Thank Look you for having me. You come to the stage with framed items. I mean, this is very fancy, but Christy I Gaines Christy is, is, fancy. is a celebrity around here, right? We've got a uh, Love Works counselor, right? And then yoga instructor yes. i mean like the skills are haven't seen you in class in a while okay mm. oh call out this, this is live yeah that's that's okay okay <laughs> they well, know you I'm, I'm inflexible guys i'm sorry all right but thank you in all seriousness for coming on we just talked about what it's like to be in a military family can you give a little bit of background on your um your familiarity with the program and then as well you've got two sons right that are absolutely. actually serving yeah absolutely so yes, I have um, two children who are both serving. Um, one is in the ROTC program at UNC Charlotte, who will commission in December. Wow. So he'll be a second lieutenant serving um, our country in the Army. Uh, we'll probably branch medical services. Then my younger son is a cadet at West Point, which a lot of people don't realize that's called the United States Military Academy. Yes. Yes. They just call it West Point, but yeah. it is. That's where it's located on the west bank of the Hudson River. And so he is a cadet um, there. And that's how I had the opportunity to do um, to partner with movement and a, a very unique experience that Casey gave us the opportunity for um, to take a um, World War II POW to West Point. And I'd love for you guys to talk about that. I and mean, what an unbelievable experience. I think that might be what's uh, over your shoulder here, too. Yes. So oh we had the awesome opportunity to take uh, a, a World War II POW who his bucket list was to go to West Point. He had never been. He had served under a lot of leaders that were from West Point and absolutely loved them. And so he wanted to go. So movement paired with us and gave us um, air travel. It was an amazing experience for him. He was able to speak with about 50 cadets while we were there. He got a tour. He was able to um, see the land that he so wanted to see. And he's 96, so remember, time is ticking. So, um, so 
This is on behalf of West Point, the West Point Parents Club, wow. and from Love Works. We wanted to present Casey with this oh as a little photo op to remind him of what he made possible. This would not have been possible without Movement Mortgage giving us the transportation to take him there because he, he would not have been able to travel on a commercial flight. Yeah. So this was an amazing experience for him. So well, thank you. Well, Chris, you know, th thank you. Thank you for making me aware of this, um, this hero, this hero. It's, it's men and women like Mr. Frank who have gone before us for, for decades and um, they're the ones that secured our freedom that we have today. You know, the, the rights that we enjoy, the privileges we enjoy, the relationships we enjoy, this business that we enjoy, are because men and women like that went to faraway places and did really hard things, uh, including being a prisoner of war, and come back and still love this nation. To be able to honor a man like that who's given so much to us, I think it's the least we can do. And I just want to thank you, Christy, for being the kind of person that, that identifies those heroes that are walking among us, you know, in plain clothing sometimes. And, uh, and lifting them up. And I, I can tell you, I didn't have the privilege of being on this trip. I wish I did. We were trying to do the mortgage to make sure we uh, keep serving our guys here at home. But every person I spoke with, they, they got in contact with Mr. Frank, just said, wow, wow, that man is so full of life, so full of light. Like he, he was inspiring, encouraging, engaging to be around, so humble and so grateful and so thankful um, for that opportunity to go see West Point. So thank you for making that happen, for just being the kind of leader around here that, uh, that identifies people that need to be honored and then stepping out and doing it. My pleasure. Thank yeah. you for giving us the opportunity. Yeah. So I, I, I do have a question too, because she talks about her children, okay? Now this could paint a really wrong picture of what these two young men are, because I, I can promise you that, that Jake and I wish that her two children would wear a lot more clothes to the gym and um, <laughs> <laughs> be a lot less true. proficient at all the exercises and movements, because some of the older, very uh, less childlike <laughs> individuals in the gym um, yeah, had, had a tougher time keeping up with these two young men. I can tell you, I, you know, I sleep better at night knowing there are men like this out serving our nation, defending it. And I know you're so proud. I know that you're so proud as a mother of the choices that Absolutely. they've made. And at the same time, any mother, you know, any mother, we all care for our kids, and particularly our children that have chosen I think harder paths, you know, tougher paths, maybe, maybe than some. Can you just talk about, like, a, a, as a mother, what it means to be part of the community, what we need to do as our community to love, support our, our military men and women? Um, as a mom, on the back side of things, it is just amazing to see the number of people who come together to support other people's children that you don't even know. Um, I'm constantly getting calls or emails saying, um, does your son need a, a ride to the airport? I'll be glad to pick him up. Do, do you need anything? Do you need me to send him a care package? Do you, what can we do? Can we write letters? What, fill us in. Well, people are willing to do stuff. You just have to let them know what you need. Yeah. And, and they're more than willing to help. It, it, and as a mom, that, that helps us sleep at night, yeah. just to know that other people are there to, to love and take care of them as well. That's a great charge. Christy, thank you so much for coming on. I think we're going to bring in sort of the close. Jessica, Travis, really appreciate you guys uh, joining us. I mean, this is this partnership just feels right for us. I mean, it's about serving those who serve us. Uh, we talk about we want to be uh, the, one of the leading lenders for the military community. And I think this partnership with the USO is the first step uh, in many in a long lasting relationship. Yeah. I still remember one of the most impactful conversations I've had the privilege of having in my life. And that was with the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mullen. And I was speaking to him about what it, what it means, what it feels like to lead a group of two million you know, active and retired servicemen and women. And he talked about just the weight and the privilege of that position he held as chairman of the Joint Chiefs. And he said, when I signed up for this job, I knew that I was going to lead two million men and women who when they signed up for the job, agreed to lay their life down if need be for this nation. Imagine that when they signed up for the job, they said, if need be, I will lay my life down for my fellow citizens so that we can all continue to enjoy the freedoms and the privileges that this nation affords. And the Bible teaches us there is no greater love than to lay your life down for another. These men and women model the greatest love for us in the way they serve and the way they sacrifice. And it is the utmost and highest privilege for Movement Mortgage to come alongside the USO as an official corporate sponsor and to continue to love and serve these heroes. Awesome. Well said, Casey. Thank you so much for watching. It's good to be back. Good to be back in the office. Good to be back. It's Thank you for watching. Back. You guys have a great rest of your day.